Hello everybody, it's Jeremiah De La Cruz. Um, this thing is a first for me. I haven't done any real tutorials on how to do anything. But um, anyways, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? A lot of people have been uh, commenting me and sending me messages. People that have visited my Tumblr and my Facebook, you can tell that obviously I like to take photos and stuff. And I like to edit them as well to make it give it a little bit of an artistic feel. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to simple edit, like you simply edit your photos to make them look a little better um, without using Photoshop. If you have Windows Vista, it's simple and a lot of people don't even know the feature exists for some reason because, you know, a lot of people don't really go into in depth in trying to figure stuff out like that and they already want to go buy Photoshop and spend all this money on trying to buy an editing program. Well, most of the times, the things that you want to do to the photos are already readily available on your computer. So I'm just going to show you how to do that um, quickly on Windows Vista. Okay, so first off, um, you got to take your photos. So I have two photos over here. I made um, duplicate, uh, what do you call it, duplicates of them so that we can compare and contrast afterwards what we've done to them to enhance them. So first, locate your photos wherever they're at, in your picture file or whatever. I already put them on my desktop, so we're just going to open one up. Okay, so this one is unedited. This is uh, just a regular photo of me. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is actually at the top bar over here on the Windows Photo Gallery um, thing, it shows right here, it says Fix, right? So you click that, and these options pop up on the right-hand side. Um, if you don't want to go too far into doing anything and you just want to auto-adjust it, it'll pick the best settings to just naturally auto-adjust your photo. But then if you want to get all explore, ex what's it, explorative or whatever, that's a word, <laughs> you can go to um, the other options and open them up and check out what you want to do. With uh, adjust exposure, you can uh, change the brightness and contrast. So if you think it's overexposed, you could lessen the brightness and maybe heighten the contrast and it gives it a different feel, gives it a little bit of a warmer feel or if you want to make the brightness a lot higher and the contrast higher you'll get sharper sharper lines and more defined um, contrast between the colors that you have going on and then if you like how it is move on to the next um, effect. You can change up the colors too if you want to um, give it a different feel like I think I took this picture on a pretty cloudy day and it was kind of cold, obviously. I was, you know, pretty wrapped up there. Um, you could change the color temperature to make it look warmer. You can um, drag the color temperature up to the right, and it'll give it like a more yellow, red, brown feel over going toward the right. When you go down to, well, I'm calling it down, but it's really left. If you go left, it gives it more of a blue feeling. So it gives it, you know, a colder colder feel so if you want to mess around with that you know I could fake it and pretend it was like summer and I'm all dressed up and bring it a little warmer <laughs> and then if you want to tint it you could give it like a straight up color feel right now this is kind of this effect right here with this mixture of the effects it gives it more of an um, um, an old school film feeling like uh, if you were to take a picture with um, like say a Polaroid or a 35 millimeter camera um, that's a typical result that you would get saturation is how much color um, is coming out so if you feel like your color is your colors in the picture are a bit washed out you could bust up the saturation to bring it up see how it made it a lot brighter and the colors pop more um, you have to be careful with the saturation too because if you boost it up too high and then you have like the tint so high it gets a little blinding because it's you make it super unnatural unless that's what you're trying to go for if you're trying to be all artsy and stuff so it really all depends on you um, you can bust up the saturation or if you want to make it like um, black and white or whatnot just bring the saturation down all the way and then it'll turn into a black and white photo but I think I'm pretty content with it being right here after that, if you want, feel the need to crop it, like say you just want a headshot or whatever, you could crop it, apply. Um, and the cool thing with this is uh, it has the red eye fix. I don't have red eyes here, but 
all you do is click it and then you go over the eye and make a box around the um, the parts that are red and then it automatically adjusts to fix that so that's how that would turn out and then bam all you have to do is uh, next it or whatnot and it'll save it automatically so just next it and it is saved this is right now on actually a video so it's probably gonna load but let's not look at that that's my dance group <laughs> okay so now we're gonna look at the other photo see what we're gonna do to it um, this is when I was messing up around with some makeup <laughs> so excuse See, I took this in the bathroom, so it's kind of darker. Um, I was trying to give you guys a different feel, outside, inside, whatnot. So you do the same thing. Go to the top, click fix. You could auto-adjust. If you click that, you'll see what it comes out to do. It brightened up the back a little bit. But you can also undo with this button on the bottom, undo it. Uh, and then you could, you know, mix up what you want to do again. So you'll brighten it, uh, the contrast. If you're happy with it, go ahead. Right now, I want to overdo the contrast because I want to give it more of like a abrasive looking feel. Adjust the colors. See how, th since I busted up the contrast, I'm already really orange. If I bring it down a little bit, it'll make me look whiter or blue or whatever. So I'll do that. And then the tint, you could tint it if you want, but I don't think I'm really going to mess with that. Saturation. I'll bring it up a little bit. I don't think I want to crop it. I think I'm already happy with that. See, that only took a few seconds. And you don't actually have to save it. Once it's um, once you already did it, you could just exit out and it already saved. Because it, before you leave, it saves. Okay, so that now we're going to just see the difference between the two that we took. So this is the original of the first one. Original. And then our edited version. See, there's the difference between the two, you can see. It's a little more vibrant, warmer looking. This one's kind of a little washed out with some white. See, and it only took a few seconds to do. And then the other one, original. And then the edited version. Sorry, my computer's slow. <laughs> Bam, okay? So that's just a simple way to edit your photos. I mean, if really that's all you want to do with your photos, you don't want to, you know, do any of those extra stuff like borders or whatnot, really that's all you need to do. You wouldn't have to spend like hundreds of dollars to buy Photoshop. And eh, sometimes it's a little overrated anyway. So, I mean, that's pretty quick. When I edit my photos, Photoshop is now like my last resort if I need to add like other things to it like other elements like borders and stuff but really uh, all the, the effects that um, the Windows Photo Gallery thingy has already is already good enough you know what I mean um, and yeah I hope that helped you already know what to do if you've seen my other videos I always say this rate comment subscribe you guys have a good one